Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Let me just sort that out. Um, how you doing? <laughs> nice and sunny today. Um, now this is part two, of course. I bought you part one recently, so continue the story onwards. I'll bring you part two of um, this two-part video clip that we're making here. So, first of all, of course, today, if you like the video, give it a little thumbs up. And um, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to the channel if you want to. And also you can hit the notifications bell if you want to be notified of when some um, new videos are coming out. Now today, of course, we are here to see if we can find the grave. I don't know if there's a headstone there anymore of Ruth Ellis. Um, but I'll tell you a bit more about that in a moment. Look at this beautiful place. Amazing. It never ceases to amaze me when you come to these places and you just see how beautiful. You see different parts of the country that you don't wouldn't normally see unless you're just out travelling about, doing bits and pieces. Um, yeah, so we'll get on with it, shall we? Now, I don't like seeing things like this. Poor little birdie, look. So, um, I haven't got a bag with me or anything like that. There's a lot of crows circling, so I don't know if they think it's dinner. But, um, or whether it's one of their own, and they're looking after its body. I don't know. But you can hear them, they're going crazy. Look. So, I don't know whether that's one of their... What I'm gonna do is see if I've got a bag in the car and move its poor little body, because it's not fair leaving that there. Ruth Ellis, born the 9th of October 1926 in Ra, Denbingshire in Wales, died the 13th of July 1955, aged 28 years old. She will be remembered as being one of the five women executed from 1903 to 1955 at London, England's Holloway Prison for Women. She was hanged for shooting her lover, David Blakely, who we mentioned in part one and for being the last woman to be executed in England. Born Ruth Nielsen, she was raised in a strict Roman Catholic home, and by the time she was 25 years old, she had a son with a Canadian, married soldier, and had a daughter with her husband, who refused to play for um, any sort of child support. At the age of 27, she was in a relationship with David Blakely. He was a financially secured man, but according to some sources, he was an alcoholic and then very abusive with her. She did modelling and hostessing um, in nightclubs to support her two children. Her formal education stopped when she was 14 years old. Her stormy, jealous relationship with Blakely reached a new peak at 9.30pm on the evening of Easter Sunday, April 10th, 1955, when she fired five rounds from the gun at Blakely as she was leaving a pub. Blakely was rushed to hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. The first shot had missed him, but the second made him fall to the ground. She leaned over him and fired three more shots at this point. She lifted the gun to her head and pulled the trigger, but the gun jammed and it didn't fire. And as I said before, um, it dropped to the floor in the first video and uh, went off ricocheting and hitting an innocent bystander. She requested for someone to call the police and an off-duty policeman at the, top, at the pub arrested her on the spot. Bruises on her abdomen and limbs were the evidence of the claim that she had made of him beating her. She was charged with the murder of Blakely and found guilty on June 20th, 1955. Within a month on July the 13th at 9am, she was the last woman in England to be hanged. Her daughter was only three and a half years old. The public was outraged that the mother of two who had been abused by a man could be executed in England. Her execution led to the 1965 abolishment of the death penalty in Britain. She was buried in an unmarked grave on the grounds at Holloway Prison for Women in 1971. While the prison was being remodelled and five executed women were exhumed, Amelia Sash, Annie Walters, Edith Thompson and Silo Kristoff, I think I said that same, were all buried in Brookwood Cemetery in a single grave. Ellis, who was buried at St Mary the Virgin Churchyard, had Ruth Hornby, 1926-1955, inscribed on her marker. 
but this marker was destroyed in 1982 by her son prior to his suicide hence now that the grave is unmarked so that's all the information there about Ruth Ellis um, I've come through to the other part of the graveyard but yeah it's like a little path that comes out from the back of the actual church itself um, then it brings you out look at this beautiful field behind me look again amazing look at it beautiful here I've been um, looking around I think I found it now see where this marker is here that's where Ruth Ellis is buried and there was a headstone put there I'll put a picture on it um, I can't remember how long ago it was, sadly it got vandalised, which is a shame really, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, what you've done in life, you deserve to have some dignity in death. So there we have it, Ruth Ellis's final resting place there, and there was a big controversy kicked up amongst all the public at the time because um, Obviously, you know, she was the last woman hanged in England. Um, and of course, she had young children. Um, you know, so there was a lot of people asking the question, do we, you know, if, if hanging is ending, do we need to actually do this? But the powers that be said yes, and they did do it. Um, you know, then there's that big question mark, isn't it? Obviously, she killed her lover but the big question mark is how much abuse did she get from him does it justify it i don't think it ever justifies killing someone but you know people can be put into lots of weird situations can't they and we never know until we're put in that situation of how how we'll act or how it's going to be anyway so that's the end of our two-parter David Blakely, and of course his killer, Ruth Ellis. Um, beautiful little place here. You can see it down there, look. Little river, it's gorgeous. Ooh, <laughs> walking away too fast on the camera. So there we have it. Another one. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Subscribe, morning. Yeah, how are you, all right? Good, good. Um, it's always good to say hello to the locals. Um, yes, so uh, <laughs> brain just goes off on one. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hit the notifications bell to be notified. And uh, I will see you all on the next one real soon. Take it easy. Bye.